Hello, this is Ironhead41. Uh, my neighbor's neighbor came up to me a couple weeks ago and had some chickens. Bought chickens for the first time. Uh, it's October, well now it's November 1st. Uh, and they, buy, they bought chickens for the first time and they started getting sick and dying off. And one of the reasons is, is when you go to flea market to buy chickens, when them fellers drive up in that great big a uh, long horse trailer and they start pulling out cages of chickens and and uh, gooses and ducks and and all that them animals were more than likely raised in a uh, controlled climate house I mean they were humidity was controlled the temperature was controlled and then when you get them at the flea market and you bring them home for the first time and you put them out in your uh, fenced yards or, or even free ranging them or whatever uh, that more than likely they'll start to get sick because they're not used to uh, 80 degree days and 40 degree nights and uh, you know some humidity changes rain wind especially wind and they'll start to get sick uh, so I suggest getting some type of medicine for chicken flu uh, this right here bottle I mean it'll last you for a long long time for years uh, now that I like this one this is vet rx and uh, you just put a little bit on a Q-tip, and if you can, put get it in their in their mouth and rub it on the roof of their mouth, and just touch each nostril, and then a dab under each wing. Because usually a chicken at night they'll sleep with their head under their wing, so they're breathing in this. Because I mean it's not an antibiotic. You can't buy antibiotics for uh, for uh, for the flu. Just like you know we don't have a cure for the flu either. You're just treating the symptoms. And also I like to take their water. A uh, two and a half gallon water jug, and I put one, one to two drops of turpentine in it into the water. Uh, this really helps them. Uh, so usually after the first year, they, they get used to uh, weather changes and temperature changes, and then the next year they're okay. You don't have to worry about them getting sick. Um, but don't don't get that powdery stuff you mix in their feed, because that stuff always settles to the bottom, and they hardly ever get it, and you'll keep on losing chickens. But this here, I mean. This is almost overnight relief, and uh, usually one application, they're they're good to go. About three days, they'll start clearing up. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, some people just they go to flea market and just thinking uh, these are chickens that can handle anything, and they're not. All right, well, that's it.